Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're talking about everything going on in the world of Fortnite right now, inside of Fortnite, and also what is to come in the future. So, if you haven't already and you've been living underneath some sort of rock and you missed the live stream earlier today, we did showcase the up and coming uh, kind of Ferraris in the game. They are officially in the game now, and obviously, you can take a little look at them and a little gameplay of them on screen right now. They're so awesome. If you haven't already tried these, they're basically an upgraded version of the Whiplash. They feel amazing to drive. And it's just a really cool new addition for Fortnite. It's rumored that these will be in the game until October. I can't 100% confirm that or not. But along with this comes a bunch of items in the item shop, which we'll jump to in a second. But yeah, so the actual Ferrari overall, great vehicle, great new addition to Fortnite. And just a really awesome collaboration. I can't wait to see what else is going to happen with future vehicle collaborations inside of Fortnite. I suspect other car brands, we may see another one in the next 6 to 12 months inside of Fortnite after the Ferrari one gets rotated out. It's a great way of advertising cars for future generations. Obviously, this Ferrari thing, no one's just going to go out and purchase a Ferrari today. But you just never know. People playing the game are majority a lot younger than myself and other people. There are a lot of old people that also play the game as well. Older people, should I say. But the majority of the audience in the game are 13 to about 19. That sort of age range. And you never know. When they grow up or yourselves... You might end up buying a Ferrari. Probably not, but that is obviously the reason they add this into the game, just to try and influence people. Maybe if they do ever buy a supercar, it'll be a Ferrari over whatever else there is out there. But who knows? Obviously, there'll be other cars getting added into the game, probably in the future as well. Maybe some more kind of purchasable cars, should they say. Obviously, Ferrari is a 300, 400, 500,000, and no one's got that lying around, really, to be honest, unless you're some sort of crazy, crazy business person. But in reality, no one's really going to be uh, picking up a Ferrari here, <laughs> but you never know. You just never know. Someone out there may be watching, but that's the idea of obviously these clubs, and that's what the aim is for this. It's also just really wet, cool way of advertising the car as well, and obviously the brand. And it's just a really nice new addition. So really cool to see Ferrari in the game. Now moving away from the Ferrari topic, we'll kind of t touch on that as we look at the item shop here. As you can see, the item shop now got the brand new skin in, which I didn't really expect to get added in. You know, this is the one I wanted to stream. I've actually thought that it was going to be in Friday night's item shop. Which would have actually made more sense in my opinion, because I feel like this skin for the North, the like the short night stuff, it's not even out, is it? So why put it in the item shop tonight? Why not put it in tomorrow? I don't know, 100%. But who knows why I did that? But along with that, obviously we have the Ferrari item shop as well, which dropped earlier today. So kind of two brand new sets and skins in the shop. I really didn't expect them to kind of put the Ferrari one down to the bottom straight away if you know what I mean on the shop list it's not at the top anymore so you know the clubs only just dropped but it might be a long term club and it might have only been or a short term club who knows exactly but it's neat it's cool and I like it I think it's awesome to see that Fortnite have really kind of thought about who they're going to collab with and what they're adding into the game and this is definitely one of them so kind of a really cool addition there for anyone interested on that now as well as this there's also been a lot of other stuff going around in the Fortnite community which I just want to kind of touch on and look into because Fortnite itself is really starting to expand we've even got the actual short night event inside of Fortnite right now and it's just absolutely crazy you see over at risky the preview for that is taking place with the trailer and obviously the short night event will be tomorrow inside of Pirate Royale I will be watching it in my free time it's not something I'm 100% like going to stream or anything like that because you can't, you know, I can't 100% stream it. I'm not allowed to, so I'm not going to stream it at all. Why did I even say 100%? I'm not going to be streaming it, but I'm going to be there in game watching it, you know, chilling, just seeing what it's like while I'm editing a few things or just kind of just chilling around the house and stuff, just watching it in the background. It's cool to watch and the short films are really awesome and I'm sure you can find most of them on YouTube because a lot of them are older films. They've already been released and they're just kind of getting showcased again, but some of them are newer ones as well. So that's going to be exciting to see, which is kind of cool. Also, strangely enough, we haven't really covered this really in the map change videos because, to be honest, it's probably not significant enough to be covered because it's not really a map change. It's more of a meme. But we'll kind of look at it because you guys know that my favorite bat bling inside of Fortnite is the chair. We love the chair bat bling. You guys have got it. Rock it. Because for some reason, there's a chair inside the Fortnite map which is shrinking here. You can see it here. We've covered it in map change videos in the past, but then we kind of stopped covering it because it was just getting smaller and smaller every week. And... To be honest, it's not really that interesting. It's just a chair shrinking in size. But now it is quite interesting because it really has shrunk to a ridiculously small size to the point where it's as as like as big as like like you could get like a hundred of these in that chest. Do you know what I mean? Like what is going on? So yeah, we will cover this in a map change video soon. Very surprised on this, and honestly, I didn't really have much interest in it at the start. I thought it was just more of like a temporary thing and. Now it really has been taken to the next level. I don't even think you can make items that small and creative 
And I'm really excited to see how small they're actually going to make this go. Like literally, how small can this chair go? That is the big question. So let's just wait and see. That's all we can do. Regarding the up and coming Gravitron as well, that will be available in the version 17.21, which we'll be actually releasing next Tuesday. We will be covering all the changes then. There will be additional map changes that day as well, as well as a bunch of brand new weapons being added in, being the Gravitron weapon, which you're able to pick up vehicles and cars with and objects. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm really excited for that. I've kind of shown off gameplay already on the second channel. If you wanna go and watch an overview of the weapon of all the stats and that, head over to the second channel you'll see a good preview of it over there which i think you guys are probably like if you're interested now funnily enough a lot of people were talking about the mothership actually going over coral castle you can clearly see from this picture here it's way past it now and i was saying this that it's a bit of a bait the coral stuff i reckon i personally thought it was a bit of a bait I didn't think it was going to be 100%, but I may be wrong. We may be wrong again. Uh, it could happen, but I think it was a bait, personally. I don't think it's going to go to Coral. I generally do think Fortnite just kind of went, you know what, let's move on from here and just kind of go, ah, we'll leave Coral. We'll go somewhere else. So apparently the uh, mothership's going to descend and kind of place posters around the smaller ship. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here with these posters. This is coming in from Kuma. I can't wait for this. It's going to be really cool just to see what's going to kind of lead up to the posters and stuff for an up-and-coming event inside of Fortnite. We're a little bit behind on that sort of stuff at the minute. Like, we haven't really got, like, anything planned in my head or seen anything for the future of the events and stuff. But I generally am pretty excited to see overall where the season is going to go. I feel like it's not been like a dry season because content has been really high and it's been a really fun season. I'm really enjoying it. But I feel like storyline wise, the season has really hit a little bit of a halt. And that is only because mainly they're pushing the storyline or they're pushing side quests, should I say, through quests in the game, your know, legendary quests or legendary challenges. And to be honest, I don't enjoy that. I don't even listen to it because you can't replay it. You know, once you've completed it, you don't gain any kind of not, you gain a little bit of knowledge while you're doing it and you forget it, you can't replay it. And it really reminds me of Save the World. You know, you hear them chat so much in Save the World. You just can't remember it because they talk so much. And it's the same with these quests. Literally, the NPCs talking away and you're getting built on with 90s or cr like people are cranking around and you're like, oh no, I can't listen to the quest. And or you get eliminated and then you just, you don't get to listen to it at all. So Fortnite really needs to, if they're going to do these kind of legendary quests as the storyline, they need to have like kind of like a bank for them. Once you've done them, you can like review all of them and listen back to them and just kind of have like a storage unit for them. Because literally, I do these quests. This is why I didn't cover them in the storyline videos. I do them. I try recording them and usually get eliminated halfway through recording it, which means I would have to create an alt account and do the quest again on there, hoping that it would work. I could technically do it in matchmaking. Sometimes it doesn't work in that though. And I could possibly do it in bot lobbies, but again, that's just not fun. Going at extra steps to create bot accounts, to create alt accounts, to create all sorts of stuff, just to capture a little bit of footage for an event and obviously i don't know how to leak in the files 100 percent like i don't know how to dig in the files and find a little audio snippet it's just pointless honestly fortnite you need to do something with these the quest and the story that just doesn't work we did a poll on the channel talking about this and no one enjoys the quest for the storyline fair enough i enjoy the quest for xp yes storyline wise nah and i think at the minute i feel like fortnite are trying to make the storyline a little bit quest related it just isn't fun. It just doesn't work. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Honestly, I did a poll on this. We had 1% or 2% of people that enjoyed the quest. Everyone else loves the mini events. They love like map changes. They love the little live events, you know, like the stuff we saw back in the original chapter one. We've not had anything since really for live events for stuff like that. But we saw in the original chapter one, we had like, little rocks we had to dig up. We also had obviously the runes flying around the map. We had the cube doing different things at different phases at different times. Just mini live events like that. People love that sort of stuff. Where's that gone? Turn into blue. It's turning into you know these daft quests. Come on, Fortnite. You gotta upgrade a little bit there. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. A little bit of a ramp, but not too much. Just kind of like looking at the storyline and what's going on. That's why I say the storyline this season's been a little bit dry because technically it has. There hasn't really been much going on. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the future. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.